Triple season Eagle Bank Bowl featuring a rematch between Navy and Wake Forest. Navy took the regular season meeting. First quarter, Navy already up 3-0. Wake Forest, Alfonso Smith runs into traffic. Now reverses to the left. That's trouble because he eventually gets stripped before he's down. Rashawn King sees nothing but real estate. 50 yards on the fumble return. 10-0 Navy just like that. Second quarter, Navy up 13-0. Kaipanoa, Keheaku, and Hada. Good work out of you. Going deep, intercepted by Smith. And that would lead to a wake touchdown. Alfonso Smith with his 21st career pick, passing Dre Bly for the ACC all-time record. And then in the third, Josh Adams up the middle. Second touchdown of the day. Wake's first lead, 14-13. Fourth quarter, Navy still down one. Keheaku and Hada, two-yard touchdown. They would fail on the two-point conversion. Now, five turnovers and a loss to Navy in September by Riley Skinner. On Saturday, 11 for 11, 166 yards. Wake up 22-19 after that touchdown to Ben Rooster. Keihaku and Hada then getting pressured, going for the first down, and he's stripped. It's Wake Forest who gets revenge to win this one 29-19. And then, of course, you get the Gatorade bath for Jim Grove. A Las Vegas Bowl. BYU had hopes of becoming a BCS buster at one point, but they had Arizona and Vegas instead. First bowl for Arizona since 1998. First quarter, Arizona up 7-0. Mike Thomas bobbles a BYU punt. He's able to recover it. But Arizona head coach Mike Stoops is like, why'd you have to bobble it? And, and, and Thomas pushes what? Stoops away. That's ridiculous. A little bit later on, it's, it's all love. Heat of the moment. It's all good. Arizona would lead 10-7 at the half. We go to the third quarter. First possession, second half for Arizona. Willie Tuatama has been doing it for Arizona for the last four years. Can't handle a little snap there, though. BYU recovers. After the turnover, third and goal, Max Hall sells the play fake, and then Andrew George is open for the touchdown. BYU takes a 14-10 lead. They're in the Las Vegas Bowl for a fourth straight year, trying to win their third straight. Tuatama wasn't having it. To Delashawn Dean, who got behind everybody. Arizona takes back the lead 17-14. Then later in the third, Tuitama going to Chris Gronkowski. Tuitama 24-35, 225 yards and a pair of touchdowns. And he can run it too. Fourth quarter, third and goal. He'll tuck it and get there. Arizona up 31-14. 25 seconds left. Mike Thomas needs one more catch to make history, and he's got it. 259th career reception. That's the new Pac-10 record. Arizona wins it by 10. And the fans celebrate their first bowl win since the Holiday Bowl. Battle with brain cancer. He'd been there for 12 seasons. Less than 10 seconds left in the second. Colorado State down eight. Billy Farris to Corey Sperry. What a catch in the shadow. Sperry beating double coverage to make the grab. Colorado State within one at the end of the half. Fourth quarter. Fresno State up eight. Tom Brandstad. Picked off by Tommy Hill. Great reaction from Hill and Colorado State in great field position. And Bertrand Johnson would cash it in. Two-yard touchdown. Colorado State missed a two-point conversion, so they're still down by two. Later in the fourth, still down to third and six in their own 31. Billy Farris going up top this time to Rashawn Greer. He gets free 69-yard touchdown. Colorado State up 33-28. Less than two minutes to go in the fourth. And here comes Johnson. And there goes Johnson. 77 yards for the touchdown. He ran for 285 yards in the game. And Colorado State wins the New Mexico Bowl. 40 to 35. The final 285 yards on 27 carries. 33 points on my confidence meter in that game. Uh-oh. Magic Jack, St. Petersburg Bowl, South Florida, and Memphis. This one all about Matt Grothy. Down the left side to Tarsh Johnson, who reaches into the end zone for the score. 7-0 South Florida. Second quarter, Bulls up 10. Grothy to Ben Busby. What do you think of South Florida's white helmets? Interesting. He finds the end zone. 24-7 South Florida. This game played at the trot, so huge home field advantage for the Bulls. Third quarter history here. Grothy fakes the handoff, breaks a tackle, runs upfield for the big game, and he passes Donovan McNabb and Pat White to become the Big wow. East career leader in total offense over 10,000 yards. Third quarter, third and long. Grothy deciding to use his feet again upfield for the first down and more. Runs out of bounds, and he hands the ball to Memphis' Malcolm Rawls. Watch Rawls' reaction. He didn't like it. 
Uh, yeah, that's not oh. going to be good. Rawls called for a personal foul on the play. Growth, he all smiles afterwards. Three passing touchdowns. South Orleans Bowl match Stan and a bunch of three-year-old buddies in his cousin Big Key's backyard. This year, it's <laughs> Troy and Southern Miss, and that's Levi Brown and Kennard Burton for a touchdown. No, oh, we rule him out of bounds, but we're going to review the play and look at it. Burton. Oh, that's, that's down in the Superdome grass right there. Reverse. Troy goes up 14-7. Burton's first touchdown of the season is a good one. Davis rolling right. Jonathan Massey. How about that for a fourth and two play? Good for a touchdown. 27-24. Southern Miss makes it a three-point game. They tied at 27 with a field goal. Add a field goal on their first possession in overtime. And then Sam Glusman's 28-yard field goal is blocked. And the Eagles are going to win a look at Michael McGee. Just comes flying through to block it. Outstanding. And Southern Miss wins the Carriers New Orleans Bowl for the third time. 12-0. Come in averaging 49 points per game over their last five. TCU ranked 11, not even giving up 11 points a game. Wow, first quarter, Boise State leaves 3-0. Ian Johnson, will you marry me? Or something like that. That was a different bowl game. Takes 20 yards to score, 58th career rushing touchdown. No more tie with Marshall Falk. Johnson now solo as the wax career leader in rushing TDs. Again, uh, that's 10 points. Uh, you figure TCU is going to allow one more in this one. Fourth quarter, actually 13-10. Joseph Turner up the middle and just pounding it in. TCU leads 17-13. It's the first second half deficit this season for the Broncos. TCU runs for 275 yards and two touchdowns in this one. Five minutes to go. Third and eight. Jerry Hughes coming off the left. Yeah, you see him. Somebody should have gotten him. 15th sack of the season. That leads the nation. Boise settles for a field goal. 17-16. So very tight. She's getting very binding. Kellen Moore lost the pass. Stephen Hodge is there to pick it off. Boise held a 250 total yards. I told you, they're not frogs. They're horn frogs. This is a very angry, mean set of frogs. How about the old hook and ladder? Yeah, that worked against OU. Didn't work here. They've seen it. TCU gets the ball, gets the win. 17-16, their fourth straight bowl win. That's a school record for the folks in purple. After 15 minutes, Boise State, 10-zip lead, seem well on their way to their second undefeated season the past three years. However, the Horn Frogs pile up 17 points, 414 yards, and the offense is grinding it out over the nine bowl losing streak at the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. Literally, the only game in town, the only game in any town. Charlie Weiss, coach from the press box because of two bad knees. And here's the deal for Notre Dame. It was the 1994 Cotton Bowl the last time they won a bowl game. Lou Holtz was a coach. Kevin McDougal, the starting quarterback. They finished number two in the polls. Jimmy Clausen was six years old and Rudy was released that year but Notre Dame rocking the names on the back of the jerseys for the first time since 88 in this game calling on some tradition and calling on Jimmy Clausen. he finds Michael Floyd there and the Warriors knock the gold flakes off his helmet Time when they hit him paint. then later first quarter Irish up seven nothing Clausen play action going to David Grimes 14 yard touchdown Irish up 14 nothing and Clausen Showing why he was the number one recruit in the nation a couple of years ago. Hawaii trying to answer. They don't, they don't throw it as much since June Jones left, but they still do throw it. Greg Alexander to Aaron Bain across the middle. Two plays later, Alexander finds Bain again. And Bain will tiptoe down the sideline for the touchdown. Warriors within a touchdown now, down 14-7. But Notre Dame answers right back. Clawson going up top for Golden Tate, who's got some separation. When your name is Golden Tate, you were born to play wide receiver at Notre Dame. Perfect. 69-yard touchdown, Irish up 21-7. Just before the half, third and goal. Notre Dame at the 18. Clawson going play action. Going back to Tate again. Six catches, 177 yards, and three touchdowns for Tate. The Irish go up 28-7. Greg McMacken like, what's going on? Take another look at it. Clawson fits the ball between those two defenders and the sideline. Cross at 18 of 21, 300 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. Second half, nothing going right for Hawaii. Their quarterback, Alexander, on the field. Referees throw the flag on him, and Claus is like, yeah, we did it. The bowl streak is over. No Bowling Motor City Bowl featuring Howard Schnellenberger. 5-0 in career bowl games. First quarter, Florida Atlantic facing Central Michigan, and Dan Lefevre rolling to the right. And you know, Central Michigan's played in this uh, bowl game three straight years, and Lefevre picked off by Cardale Brantley. That's a bad omen for the Chippewas. Central Michigan 0-4 when Lefevre throws a pick this season. Florida Atlantic with the ball. Chris Bonner, great block. Cortez Gent 
Takes the Rusty Smith pass all the way down to the one. First rule of the touchdown play reverse. Owls would score on the next play, leading early 7 0. Second quarter, Chippewas going in. Lefevre, the fade, Akito Pobla. Great one handed grab. Central Michigan tying it up at 7. Third quarter, tied at 10. FAU, third and five. Smith incomplete, but hold on, we got some yellow on the field. Larry Knight called for roughing the passer. First down, Florida Atlantic. Next play. It's Smith taking advantage of making Central Michigan pay for it. Nobody from Michigan having a good time at Ford Field this season. <laughs> only Western Michigan, the only school to actually win at Ford Field this year. I don't think it's the stadium's fault. I don't think so either. Beautiful stadium. Uh, Bonner getting the 52-yard touchdown, and then uh, Smith, the uh, gent. 18-yard strike, Smith 306 yards in the air. Owls up 24-13, then Lefevre trying for the comeback. Under four minutes to go, finding Antonio Brown for six. Two-point conversion good, they're within three. Chippewas, they have two timeouts, three minutes to go, but they go for the onside kick. Interesting call. Gent with the nice hands to recover. And look at Schnellenberger oh. getting the face-first Gatorade bat. He's 74 years old.